All right, so today I am going to make hard-boiled eggs for egg salad. These are farm fresh eggs from my own chickens. They can be rather hard to peel, but this is the way I found works best. So you fill your pot with cold water, enough to cover the eggs. Then you're going to carefully place your eggs into the water. So we'll do nine. Then we're just going to turn the water on to boil. Once it's boiled, we're going to put the lid on and just turn the heat off and let them sit for probably about 15 minutes. I'm also going to test for the first time this egg timer. It says it's an egg perfect timer. Um, gives you little times for the hard, medium, and soft. You just put it into the water and I believe it changes color when it's indicating which it's at. Never used it, but thought we'd give it a try. So they're just starting to come to a boil. We'll let it come to more of a harder boil before we take it off, but you don't want it too rapid that the eggs are bouncing up and down and going to break open. So it's starting a harder boil now. We're going to cover it with a lid and take it off the heat and let them sit for about 15 minutes. So it is 12.37 right now and we'll check on them in about 15 minutes. Okay, so the eggs have been sitting in the hot water for about 15, 16 minutes or so. So we're just going to take the lid off. And as you can see, possibly, the egg perfect timer has completely changed color. So indicating that they are hard boiled. So I'm going to take this over to the water and run cold water over them to cool them down. So this just stops the cooking process so that we're able to handle them and that they'll be easier to peel. So I'm just going to run the water like this for a minute or two and we'll be back. So it's cooled down a little bit. I'm going to take the egg timer out 
Maybe you can see the difference. It was red when we started. And it's completely a, now a purpley color. All right, so they've been cooling down for about four minutes or so. It's very cold water, so they are cool to the touch. Turn that off. Drain some of the water out. And then we're gonna take it over here well, where I will show you how I peel them. Farm fresh eggs, again, are usually harder as these are less than a week old and the little membrane hasn't started to pull away from the egg yet. So this is how I do it. Okay, so we'll see if this works. Got an egg. I'm just gonna give it a crack to get it started. It's on the bottom. And I'm just going to peel away a little bit of the shell. Then I'm going to take a spoon and you just slide it underneath the shell. And just start easing your way in. Now they don't always turn out perfect, but it is one of the easiest ways I have found to peel very fresh eggs. So I'm just gonna pause this here and do a few eggs and then I'll show you. Okay, so I've peeled all the eggs and as you can see, some of them aren't perfect. But some of them turn out pretty good. Like I said, these are farm fresh. They are all less than a week old. They're probably mostly three days old. One of them was from yesterday, so it's not bad. Eggshells, as you can see, they do come out pretty clean. So I'm just going to cut the eggs, put them in this bowl and make egg salad. I've had these in the fridge for about half an hour, so they're nice and cold. And we'll use eggs, some green onion, mayonnaise, um, a little Worcestershire sauce, and some mustard and paprika. 
So I'm just going to put the eggs in my little egg slicer. So all you do is put them in there. Close it up. Now these are pretty big eggs. They're probably extra large, if not bigger. So I'm just gonna continue with the rest of the eggs and then I'll show you the rest of my process. I was also going to show you that the egg timer has now turned back to red. So that took about an hour for it to go back. Um, so you can see that it did work and it did change color to show that the eggs were fully cooked. All right, so all the eggs are cut up. So I'm just gonna cut some green onion up. I don't really measure, but it is I don't know, a quarter of a cup maybe of chopped green onions going in. Probably not even that much. It's all about taste. Everybody has their own idea of what egg salad should taste like. We're just going to put them in with the eggs. All right, and then I'm going to add mayonnaise, mustard, Worcestershire sauce, and paprika to it. All right, so I know it won't be super easy to see, but we're just adding the mayonnaise. Probably about three tablespoons. Then mustard. This is just regular yellow mustard. You can use Dijon or whatever you like. It's probably a good tablespoon. And then just a splash or two of the Worcestershire sauce. And a good sprinkling of paprika. You can add salt and pepper to this, but I like to add that after so I know how everything's tasting. So you just stir it all together. And then I'm going to let it sit in the fridge for about 15 minutes and it'll be ready to eat. Okay, 